What's up YouTube? This is Halo Jerry Guy here. I'm going to show you guys how to record with the Easy Cap Capture Card, which is $6 on Amazon plus probably $3 shipping. Very, 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 very good capture card. Yeah, I know I put a lot of berries on there, but it is amazing for its price. I'm not even kidding you. If you follow what I do in this video, you should be able to get practically HD PVR quality. I'm not even kidding you. Okay. Now, as you can see here, you have the red and white, which are left and right audio, and yellow for video. If you have an S-video cable, which I do not, you can use it this way. Anyways, I don't have one of those. We'll go with that. Now, what you're going to need is the Xbox 360 audio and video cables here. As you can see here, red, white, and yellow. Now, on the standard cord you only get these three and if you have the standard then this is not going to work I'm sorry you will need to buy the high definition cable and you will probably need a as you can see a flat screen TV it's, yeah, it's not going to work on a VCR I'm sorry guys but this is the best way if you want the best quality and best audio then you're going to have to get this if not if you don't have the right TV then I guess I'm sorry you're going to have to record without being able to see at all or hear. Alright anyway, so what you're gonna do wanna do is you see these three here now. Like I said now on most videos they're gonna tell you you need these splitters just so you can hear out of your TV. Well I have actually found a great solution to this problem. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need this audio video splitter right here. As you can see. It's not really a splitter, it's more of an adapter extender. And on the end of it it has this. Three point five millimeter um, headphone jack. It also works with a pair of computer speakers as you see here, which is my way. Now we'll start off this way. You will take, you need to take the red and white and obviously plug them into the red and white here as you can see. It's going to be kind of hard for me to do this due to the fact I have to hold the camera. And in case you guys are wondering what camera this is, this is actually not even a camera at all. It is an iPod 4th gen. And as you can see in the video, the quality is really good for this iPod. I got it for Christmas here. Really impressed with it. I mean, I know EA Games is having a huge sale on their apps. Talking 99 cent games. So you might want to check that out. Anyways, okay, as you can see here, I have these connected. And then you have the video cord here. Now, the reason you need... The, these right here is so that you can actually see these are purely on oh, purely video here. I know you see this one on the right side here looks blue on the camera. I don't know why, but it's actually a hunter green. Hunter green, red, blue. Okay, you guys will pretty much know how to hook these up to your TV if you have an Xbox. I can't show you because my TV is mounted to this TV stand here. And it would require me to move the stand to show you, which I'm pretty sure you can figure this part out. It's fairly easy. Anyways, okay. So now you have these three. I showed you here. You're going to want to hook them into these on the cap. I mean, I can't really stress enough how great the quality is on these things. Check out my videos if you don't believe me. Okay. Also, you could use this actually on retro games, such as a... GameCube, and that's not really retro, but that's what I have some of my videos on, such as a GameCube or even a SNES. Now, on those, you cannot see or hear, but however, you can play it on your computer, alright? You see, I have this hooked in now. You might have a problem. I hope nobody has a problem. It's really simple. Uh, you can't hear sound. Well, it's probably because you forgot to turn your speakers on. All right, speakers on. All right. Now you have this here. It also came with a CD that has this amazing recording software on it. Anyway, so you, whoa, let me do that. So you're going to take the cap off here, and you're going to plug it into the USB drive of a laptop. Right, there you go. So that's hooked up. And now when you do this, the sound will come out of your speakers. 
you'll be able to play on your TV. Now, on Modern Warfare 2, this is very helpful, but on Halo Reach and Black Ops, yeah, I know, I have them right here. I play both of them. I'm not going to say which one's better. Halo's better. I mean, I like both of them. Anyway, so, okay. Yeah, guys, sorry. Halo is better. It takes more skill. We'll just leave it at that, though. Okay. Like I said, you want to plug it into your TV? You're done with that? Now, here's the last step before we switch to the computer. 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, I'm pretty sure you can guess where this goes. Right here. I probably should have done this before I turned the speakers on. But, you know, it's hard to think of everything at once. I can actually get this right here. It is. Once again, you have the problem of trying to hook them up while holding the camera. Okay, got them in. Alright, guys. Now, if you have any questions about this part, well, if you have any questions about the video in general, I'll help you. Now, as you can see, everything should look just like this. It's very simple. Better than buying splitters, and it increases your quality. Okay. So you got these guys hooked up to the computer. Alright, guys. And now we're going to switch over to the computer. Alright, YouTube, we're back here on my computer. Alright, now this is the program that comes with the capture card. This one right here. You lead, or you lead, however you want to say it. Video Studio SD DVD, okay? Now, you want to open that up. Okay, here it is, right here. Now, make sure you have your easy cap hooked up to your USB, like I showed you, and from now on, every time you plug it in, make sure it's plugged in the same slot as it was last time. Okay, well, first of all, um, if you watch my Call of Duty video, my first one, you will see that the sound is a little messed up, and I watched a YouTube video, and I found the I found the reason here. So you want to go to Recording Devices, and you want to go here to Microphone USB Audio Interface Ready. Click on it, and make sure it turns. Okay, click on it. Go to Levels, and turn it way down. It's up at 100. Turn it down to about 30. I'll put one at 37. I have no clue why. Just put somewhere in that general area. Okay, now you're done with that. Now you want to go here to you open it up and it will give you an option as video editor or movie wizard. You want to click on movie wizard and it will take you to the screen. Then you want to want to click on capture. Okay. Now I do not have my Xbox turned on so I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Put a little warm up here. Anyways, as you can see, perfect. Look at that. That's what it looks like, okay. And you see I'm starting my Xbox up here. Alright. Alright, well here's my Xbox. Oh well, I'm not signed in. Okay, anyways. It's Modern Warfare 2, yeah, I know. I should be playing Black Ops or Halo Reach, right? Anyways. So, you want to go here to Options. Video and Audio Capture Property Settings. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Don't even touch it. Okay, and you want to come here, and it should be set on customized. You want to change this to DVD, and you're going to want to raise the quality to 100, and then go to advanced. Okay, you should see the screen here. Now you're going to want to click on project template view. Go to DVD NTSC 720 by 480. Click it. Go to the right. Make sure it is on variable bit rate instead of constant bit rate. Change it all the way up to 9,500, which is the max. Then you're going to want to come down here to the bottom, aspect ratio. And since it's on YouTube, you're going to want to change it to display aspect ratio 16.9. Okay. And then this is the last thing you need to do. You need to come over here to bit rate and change this to 384 for the best sound quality. Hit OK. And okay, you can see over here at the left where it says format, it should change to DVD. Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to come in here and go to capture video, and you're going to get an error. Don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. I guess it's just a glitch in the software. As you can see, this error right here. I 
unexpected error, unexpected error, unexpected error, unexpected error, incorrect function. I don't, I'm not sure. I've yet to figure out how to fix it, but it's no big deal. It'll do this once, okay? Now, it'll give you another message. You said, okay. Now, if you were to go back into options, it is going to have every, it's going to show everything reverted back to how it was. But if you do not go to options, it does not change anything, and it's just like this here. Okay, as you can see, you would then hit capture video, and you will need to wait till the elapsed time here starts. And that's when you know. So right now I'm recording. Whatever's on my Xbox here is going to show up in the video when I'm finished. Okay, so once you've done that, say you've been recording three minutes, okay? Just come down here and go to stop capture. And it'll stop. It's no problem here. And it would bring it down here to the bottom. As you can see down here, right here. Here's the video I recorded. And then if you want to, you can click on the video. And the recording thing is going to move over to the left side. And then you're going to come up with all this here. You can, this is all the clips you have. You can cut clips out. And then you can go and go here to the bottom, click Next. And you can go edit it. I suggest that you do not do this. This destroys the quality of your video, but it allows you to edit. So what I will do is just come here, close this out, and go to Yes, Close Out. Now, it's just a default folder, so you want to go to your Start menu and type in U Lead. Okay? Oh, wrong, sorry. Don't do that. Go to Documents. And it'll have your documents here. Don't even know what half this stuff is right here, but anyways. Go to here, Video Studio SE, 10.0. And here's all your videos. It's going to be the last one you recorded, see? Click here. Okay. And here's the video I recorded. I don't know if recording the, the rec recording thing messes up or not. I'm not sure, so you have this here, okay? Now you can exit that out. Now in the preview, if you have this thing turned on, it's going to look like crap, but don't worry about that. So you can close that out, and you're pretty much done. Actually, I actually need to go back, but I'm going to show you guys one more thing. Now, okay? click on it, look at the bottom here, it says it's 14 seconds and it's 11.8 megabytes. Now if you are to take this video here and you are to open, go to, you have the Windows, Windows Movie Maker. Here you have this here, you are to go to File, um, Import Media Items, Go to where it saves that. Um, this is not the video, but I'm just going to show you right here it's where it saves that. Drag it down to here. And then you want to go to Publish Movie. Okay. Right here you go to this. Publish Movie. Just go to my computer. Name it whatever. Save it where you want to. Then just pick up here at the top quality for playback on my computer. It says it's recommended to pick that. Hit publish. It'll do the video and put it where you wanted that. And after that your video should be a small good compressed size. You can edit it in Sony Vegas or Movie Maker and do whatever you want. Um, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.